Here's why you should get the new version of the iDesigner. First there's a new menu for baking maps, so you can use the eyes in other apps and or speed up render times. Select the size you want and bake the maps you need. Now you simply export the images and bring them into your app of choice. You can also check use maps to automatically hook them up right here in Blender. Just bear in mind this feature is young, so expect more options in future updates. In the old version, the iris colour was changed using these hue, saturation and value sliders. What a faff. Now you've got proper colour selection boxes, which I'm sure you'll agree is much more intuitive. You can also change the colour of the sclera and the colour of the blood, as requested by you. Another requested feature is that you can now control how narrow the pupil is to emulate animal eyes. The way I personally work is that while I'm sculpting a face, I'll pop in some proxy spheres with basic paint on as placeholders. Then when I'm ready, I'll replace them with the designer eyes. However, this can be a bit time consuming. That's why I made this button. Just select the designer eye, shift select the proxy eye and hit snap to proxy. The eye will automatically jump into place and is scaled to match the size of the proxy sphere. And some more minor updates. The menu options are always available regardless of which object is selected. There's a couple of extra light controls which is intended to be used to help with the shading of the eye. And the fake specular now works with Eevee. So as you can see there's been quite a few new things added to this update but I also have a few more things planned and if there's anything else you'd like to see added just drop me a message and I'll see what I can do. You can get the eye designer at a 25% discount using the code in the description for one week after I post this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.